And welcome to the ETF Edge portion of Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. Russian stocks no longer trade on world exchanges. Russia has been deleted from major world index providers like MSCI and Russian ETFs. Well, they've been halted in the U.S. But the fallout for the mutual fund and the ETF community may be much wider than just those who had money invested in Russia. Let's ask Dave Matza. He's the head of product at Direxion. Dave, you managed the Direxion Russia Bull two times shares ETF. That provides two times the exposure to a market cap weighted index of Russian companies. When I talked to you last week, you were planning to cease trading on March 11th, but now the NYC halted trading of your fund and three others on Friday. How are you and the ETF industry reacting to what is essentially the forced closure of your funds? Yeah, Bob, I think what we're seeing is really unprecedented action being taken by index providers and fund providers because we're in an environment where we're unable to transact in Russian securities. So two things have happened. One, the ETFs themselves are seeking to track indices that can't, tra that can't trade. So what's happened is index providers have effectively written those assets down to zero, and fund providers have had to do the same thing to match. So the securities, the Russian securities themselves, are a bit stranded in the particular ETFs, uh, but this is because the underlying markets are untransactable. And this is something which is very different than what we've seen in the past. Yeah. You know, when I talked to you last week, you used the phrase, this is the retreat of globalization played out in the investment space. Now, Russia is a war situation, which is unusual, obviously, but you voice broader concerns about global investing. What about other regimes that are not at war, but we don't approve of, like China? Are parts of the world starting to become uninvestable in general? Yeah, I think as we spoke before, the investors and traders have been focused for years on diversifying portfolios away from the U.S. We've been told that that's the right thing to do, especially as valuations in emerging markets have become much cheaper than, than the U.S. equity market. And we've seen money move toward emerging markets. But this particular action, uh, I think it's a wake up call for investors, whether you're a do it yourself or, or work with an advisor to understand that the world order has changed. And just as we've seen globalization be rolled back. Uh, over the last few years, and in particular the last few months, with this particular aggression by, by Russia, if we see this in other places that uh, maybe have larger weightings uh, in global equity benchmarks, then investors do need to be aware that their portfolios may need to be positioned differently. So I'm advocating for investors to always know what they own, but especially understand that we may be told that certain markets are uninvestable, even if they were investable before. 